Connor, just touching base on all the shot from Tuesday. The result's probably a sign of a good team, isn't it? Yeah, I think we were we were miles a better team when it was 11 v 11. Um, we identified all the shots for out in terms of when they're in possession, they can be very expansive. And I think we exploited that when we had the ball. So I think when it went down to 10 men, to be honest, we were forced into a couple of changes, obviously with shouts and gloves, just, just with the yellow situation and the way the referee was a bit card happy and the referee struggled to manage the game, I thought. But when they went down to 10, they stayed compact, made it more difficult. I think the way they played with 11 suit was more. Um, but all in all, you don't want to take certain some of our players out that we had to take out and you end up with um, players in positions that probably wouldn't suit the, the way the game was going. But that's the way it goes. You've got people, we were, we were keen on just keeping 11 people on the pitch and the referee looked intent on um, uh, leveling out the, the numbers. So, listen, it's an important win. I think we would have all taken it before the game and with 11 v 11, I think we are, we are miles the better team for us. So I think we deserved it. I think we limited them to one shot on target and not really much else. So, we were definitely the better team and deserved the win and obviously thank, we're thankful for the three points. Yeah, the gaffer sort of touched base after the game, maybe said you weren't as good going forward as what, what we'd have liked, but you know, in, in respect to that, the defence was, was on was on the top of the game, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, I think the last two games, to be fair, they've had, they've had a good four or five days at the back three. Well, the whole team in general could obviously defend from the front as well, but them three especially, I think, have been excellent. So, uh, two clean sheets in the last two away games, I think, is an excellent return over four days. So, we're proud of the lads. They've, um, they, they've taken on board. Obviously, we know we needed to limit a goal against, even though we were limiting chances for every game, it was important to bring the goals against Tally down. So, Two, two clean sheets in the bounce away from home is, is a great achievement in this league and it's not easy to do that. We're starting to see a few faces come back from injury, um, especially the last couple of games. Uh, could we potentially see any Tuesdays, absentees, make a return for tomorrow? Uh, I, I think it's probably too soon for any lads that are currently out. Uh, we're obviously buzzing to have Idris and, and Kabamba back that are available for starts, which obviously they both did on Tuesday night. So we didn't really want to play Nicky for 90, but as again I touched on, obviously the, being forced into certain substitutions, we didn't really have the bodies then to, to potentially get Kabamba out so we had to play 90 but he got through it fine he feels fine so that, that's a bonus uh, Chapman was rested in terms of tightness but we'll, we'll see how he is which obviously got to see how he is going into the game tomorrow so he's another one obviously he's a loss on Tuesday night especially against 10 men he can open the door so he was definitely a miss but all in all I've, listen I've played against 10 men myself and when I was a player and it, it can be tough sometimes you become so bogged down and not giving the ball away you play very safe and that can hinder you sometimes it sets up their press and don't really affect the opposition I think that's how it felt Tuesday so we're um we were obviously disappointed second half with the performance, but at the end of the day, the, the, the result was the main thing. We obviously took three points, and that's the key. AFC Fowl, AFC Fowl met their journey uh, down here tomorrow. They've struggled so far this season, I think that's fair to say. So what kind of opposition do you think they, they might bring tomorrow? To be honest, um, I think they're they're lower than what they should be. I think they're, they're a good side. They've got a lot of excellent, exciting players. Obviously, you can see Horton score 10 out of their 13 goals. I believe he's the top scorer in the league. So... He brings a threat himself personally, but they've still got other players. Um, I came through the academy at Watford with Gavin Massey. He's, a, he's an excellent threat, power, pace, um, good at ball carrying, makes good runs for it. He's, so he's a, he's a threat. Who's the bass? He's a threat. They've got a lot of good attacking players. The, the boy Omrod up top, young lad, industrious, works hard, makes good runs. Like For a young kid, he's excellent. So they've got a lot of threats. I'm, I'm shocked at where they're at. I think they've signed really well and they've got a really good squad. Um, I don't think they'll be down there long. I think similar to where they were this year, this time last year when they come to us, they're in a similar position, but we see how strongly they finish and I think they've got their capabilities again. So, like the old cliche is in this league, there's no easy game and obviously tomorrow's the exact same. I think they're an excellent side with some really exciting players and to be fair to the, to, to Nathan since he's gone in, he's um, tried to share him up a little bit and they've, they've controlled the ball a bit more. So, but we've watched them, we've watched them before with the old manager and watched them currently with Nathan. So, we know what to expect and they're a good side. Yeah, they haven't got a permanent coach in place yet. I guess that might potentially add a spring in the step for the players trying to improve potentially a new manager coming in. Uh, yeah, listen, you, you always see a new manager bounce. I know obviously you said it's not it's not a permanent manager, you're obviously interim at the minute, but they've looked they've looked resolute. They had a great result against South End. I know they were obviously unfortunate Tuesday night, they conceded late to a long throw, but they've definitely been more in games in the last couple, so he'll take credit, he'll take um, confidence from that and so all the group and yeah, you always, listen, you always have players that want to impress and people that might have been out in the cold in the prior management team will now feel they've got a chance. So you always get a boost from certain players. So we expect that. that that's for all divisions. You always get that new manager bounce on. It's no different with these guys. So we, we expect a tough game. Listen, whoever's in charge, they've got some excellent players and they on their day, they can hurt any opposition. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the record is in this league for continuous home wins in a row, but obviously tomorrow we could make it six from six at home. Yeah, listen, we, we always talk about how we got to make it a fortress here and I think we've done that so far, but... It doesn't just mean that teams are going to come here and roll over. So 
I think you look at Braintree, how tough that game was, how tough Altrium was. Um, we scored late against Altrium, we scored late against Forest Green. It's not five from five, obviously, looks like it's been playing sailing, but that's obviously not the story uh, behind the results. But to be fair to the lads, they've been excellent. I think our home performance has been outstanding. Um, and we deserved all five wins, but it's never as easy to just turn up and win the game of football. So we've got to be at it. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, guys.